spoke mighty in the spirit. And we're going to keep on rolling on in the spirit, man. All right? And uh, we are the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel. We come out in the last days for the liberation of our people and to separate from these devils. All right? Our people are the only people on the earth that want to mix and mingle with a people that cannot profit them anything. Right? And that's, and, that, and that's all we have. Right? That's all we have is what these nations have taught us. But we don't come back to what the Most High God, our power, whose name is Yahweh, right, and Yahweh Shai, the Heavenly Father and the Heavenly Son, right, the Creator and our masterful, our masterful Savior, right, that's going to come back and redeem us from these nations that have put His hands on us, right? All praise to the Most High. Let me get Romans 15 and 4. Bible Shai, let me get... Um, See why I won't go with this. Let me get Deuteronomy 32, um, verse 1. Romans 15 and 4. This is the book of Romans, chapter 15 and verse 4. Bring it up. For whatsoever things were written aforetime, the Bible says, for whatsoever things, hey, my brother right here. Walking by, brother, you got time for the words of the Lord in the last days, my brother? On, Do you got time to heal yourself in the last days, brother? Join yourself with your nation in the last days before destruction, my brother. Right. Read. For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning. Hey, for whatsoever things was written aforetime was written for our learning, right? Why is it that when they, they these people, they, they make movies and everything predicting the slavery that happened to our people, right. but our people don't want to sit down and even watch a movie about their slavery, man. Right? right? They don't want to go to a museum and look at the art, the artifacts and study their history. All right, shout on, brother. Right? Our people don't want to, don't even want to open a book that contains their true history to even learn about themselves according to the most high power, right? Yep. Read that again. For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning. Nah, it was written for our destruction, brother. Were oh, written man. for oh, our learning. learning. Right, so the things that was written for our learning was that we was the most high God's chosen people That's and that we were supposed to separate from these nations. Let me get Deuteronomy 7 and 6 real quick, right? Before we get that right, because that's that's the that's the uh, nature of the Most High, right? He his 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 deal was to separate us. Hey, brother, you believe in the Bible? All right. His his deal was to separate us from all of the nations because his laws are separate. He himself is separate, right? From all of the other gods, like the priest was just going into, right? Bring it up. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter seven, and verse six. For thou art in holy people. We are in holy people, a separate people. The Most High divided us from these wicked nations. Read. Unto the Lord thy God. Unto our true power. Read. The Lord thy God have chosen me uh -huh. to be a special people uh -huh. unto himself. Now he want us to be a wicked people unto himself. To be a special people uh -huh. unto himself. The Lord chose us to be a special people unto himself through his word, through his law, statutes, and commandments. Read. Above all people. Now, our people just want to be equal, man. Celebrating Christmas, celebrating Easter, right? Celebrating Valentine's Day. All of these wicked holidays that don't profit our people nothing but death and destruction right. and abominations, right? And idol worship, right? right? Above all people. We are above all people. Thus save Yahweh, Yahweh Shari. Now, upon the face of the earth. Hey, that should be a glorious thing to our people, man, but our people are ashamed of the true gospel. Our people are ashamed of these words. That's why the pastor twists them up, right? That's why we don't get the true edification when we go in these churches. We remember more of the songs in the churches versus the words in the Bible, right? We? Verse 7. The Lord did not set his love upon you, nor choose you, because you were more in number. Right, because we were not more in number in that time, right? But the Lord is raising up a mighty army going forward, right? We're going to outnumber all of these nations upon the face of this earth one day, man. And we're going to take back what belongs to us. Thus save Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, man. This nation, everything in it belongs to us. And we're going to take it back, man. Read what you got. 32 and 1. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 32, verse 1. Give ear, O ye heavens, and I will speak, and hear, O earth. It says, give ye, give ear, O heavens, and, and do what? And I will speak, and hear, O heaven, huh? the words of my mouth. 
My doctrine shall drop as a rain. My doctrine shall drop as a rain. Each one of these brothers out here have a pure doctrine according to Christ, right? That we will sit out in the last days, right? To come back to our power, to come back to our inheritance, right? To come back as the nation of Israel in pure spirit, right? In love and unity of the brotherhood, right? That's to right. come back and serve our power and come back as one nation. No more should the nation of Israel be divided in this captivity right but the Lord is gonna bring us back man and we're gonna take back everything that was stolen from us in the sight of these nations man read right. my doctrine shall drop as a rain uh -huh. my speech shall distill as a dew uh -huh. as a small rain upon the tender herb and as the showers upon the grass because I will publish the name of the Lord because I will do what Publish the name of the Lord. That's what we do. We come out here week in and week out to publish the right name of our power, whose name is Yahweh Yahweh Shai. That's right. And ascribe ye greatness unto the our God. And that's what we do. We ascribe greatness unto our power, right? He put us in captivity, right? But the greatness of his power is that he created us to rule all of these people on this earth, right? He's going to give us back our nation and our inheritance that was promised to our fathers, right? That was promised to Abraham. That was promised to Jacob, right? That was promised to Isaac, right? Right. Come. He is the rock. He is what? He the rock. Is the rock. Hey, our power is the rock that we should be standing on, man. Right. right? His work is perfect. His work is what? It's perfect. perfect. The Most High's work is perfect. Everything right. that he did, man. We got brothers coming out talking about, I ain't under no curse 2,000 years ago. Who the hell want to serve a God like that that cursed you 2,000 years ago? Well, we do up here, right? Because we know he did that to prove us. He did that to pull us out of the fire that's coming to this place in the last days, right? That's Every right. judgment that happened to the children of Israel is going to perfect us in the last days, right? Every judgment that happened to us is going to make us better than these nations, right? Read. For all his ways are judgment. For all his ways are what? Judgment. judgment. All his ways are perfect judgment, man. That's why we got to love. We got to love the curse. We got to love the blessing. And we got to love the most high's judgments, right? We? A God of truth. A God of what? A God, God of, of truth. truth. And that's why we serve the Lord like we do, right? Because he's a God of truth, right? Everything out here is lies, man. But our power is of truth, right? We? And without iniquity. And with what? Without iniquity, without iniquity, right? So why would you want to serve people that are dealing in iniquity when our power wants you to come out of iniquity? When our power wants you to come back as a faithful servant in the last days like his son, right? Read. Right. Without iniquity, just and right is he. They have a corrupt themselves. Their spot is not the spot of his children. Let me get verse 7. Come Remember the days of old. Do what? Remember, remember the, the days, days of old. old. Hey, the Lord want us to remember the days of old, right? But we the only people on the face of the earth, man, that can't stand the days of old, right? Because it's darkness, right? Because they see us in captivity, right? They see our people getting raped, right? They see all the things that happen to us, but you never ask yourself, right? What about the greatness that we was before slavery, right? What about the cities that they drop water on to cover up our greatness, right? What about Charlotte right here, right? They was called Brooklyn at one time, right? They built over our cities, right? But our people don't want the truth for that. Our people want to still go out here and mix and mingle with these people in these cities that we built up, man. That we made great, man. The hell with making America great, man. Right? We got to make Israel great. Read. Remember the days of old. Remember the days of old, because our people forget. You forget the Sabbath day. Why the Lord got to tell you to remember the Sabbath day? To keep it holy, right? Because he knew your ass would forget it. Come on, Consider the years of many generations. Man, you got to consider the years of many generations, my brother. You believe in the Bible? Huh? Hey, can you, you got time for the Lord, brother? Do you got Come time on, to remember the days of old, brother? Come on, hey, let me brother. get that real quick. This is the book of Psalms. Chapter 43 and verse 5. Bring it out. Word don't cast down. Right. Verse 5. 43 and 5. Come. Ask thy father, and he will show thee thy elders, and they will tell thee. When the Most High divided the nations, then when he did what? Divided the nations and their inheritance. 
when he separated the sons of Adam, he set the bounds of the people according to the number of the children of Israel. He separated the bounds according to the number of the children of Israel. And that's what and that's what we are right now, right? We for the Lord's portion is his people. Jacob is the lot of his inheritance. The what? Jacob is the lot of his inheritance. He found him in a desert land and in the waste howling wilderness and laid and led him about. He instructed him. He kept him as the apple of his eye. What? Kept him as the apple of his eye. Uh -huh. As an eagle stirred up her nest, fluttered over her young, spread it abroad her wings, taking them, bird them on her wings. That's right, man, because our people refuse to hearken unto the voice of the Lord, right? Our people refuse to come back and to remember these days of old, right? To remember the things. So the Lord alone did lead him. And there was no strange God with him. He made him ride on the high places of the earth, that he ate, like that he might eat the increase of the fields, and he made him to suck honey. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 143 and verse 5. I remember the days of old. So, I remember the days of old. So if he remembered the days of old, right, why don't our people want to remember the days of old? Why do we want to continue to walk in darkness as a people, right? Why do we want to continue to follow these nations who are blind, who are blindly leading you, right? They're not teaching you God's law, statutes, and commandments. They're not teaching you where you're going or where you come from, right? They're teaching you to break God's law, statutes, and commandments, right? But we got to come out here as faithful servants in the last days and raise up the 12 of tribes of Jacob to tell you that you must remember the days of old. You must remember the prophecies that were before God's chosen people, right? That we will go into captivity, into captivity for breaking God's law, statutes, and commandments. Read one more time. I remember the days of old. Uh -huh. I meditate on all thy works. And the Lord, he said, I meditate on all thy works, right? Because the works of the Lord are perfect, right? Even in judgment, the works of the Lord are perfect. You just don't love the Most High's judgment when he punish your ass, man. Right? When he put that foot on you for breaking his law, statutes, and commandments, you want to put the book down. When the brother's convicting you in the spirit and telling you, hey, look, brother, you going off right here, man. Are right, you in the midst of sin right here, brother? Right? You got to pull out of that. You got to get away from these other nations, right? Our people are like, no, nah, I don't want that Bible no more. Right? I thought I loved Jesus. But I don't love them no more, right? right? Because I don't want to separate from the oppressor, right? I don't want to keep these commandments, right? I don't want to put down the pork and the shrimp and the crab and the lobster, right? I want to keep on eating these so-called delicacies, right? That the heathen told you was right. Hey, how you doing, Elder? Yeah, yeah, you believe in the Bible? You do? No, no, brother, I said Elder. Not ugly, brother, yeah. No, nah, I wouldn't dare call you ugly, brother. I called you an elder. Right? You appreciate that? You believe in the Bible? Let me ask you a question. Where you come from in the earth? What's your nationality? What's your origin? You come out the ground? All praise to the most high. But you have a you have a, a, a nationality, right? Where is your father? Where does he come from? I get that. I got you on that, but but you still here. But you 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 know his uh, background, right? His history, right? So what is your people? Are you a so-called black man, brother? Right. So when you look over here, is it, is it here over here? Right here. Right. We come out here for the twelve tribes of Israel in the last days, brother. Right. If you believe in the Bible, right, then you understand that God had a chosen people. Uh-huh. Oh, man. Hey, look, that's the spirit. I was just talking about that, right? I just was talking about Charlotte, right? You know about Charlotte? Right? What happened to Charlotte? What they do to Charlotte? What they do to Tulsa, Oklahoma? What they do to Philadelphia? 
right? They burn everything down that we built up, right? Why is that? You see that? Hey, this is the second time we've been out here and the elders said the, the pastors put them out of the church, man, for speaking the truth, right? Right. Let me get St. John's 8 and 32. Let me get Deuteronomy 20 and 15. Real quick, hold on, hold on, brother, hold on. Hold on, because it's something you got to know, right, before you keep going off in these churches. We're going to give you something else to go in the churches and tell these pastors, right, since they want to lie, right? When you look at these images right here, right, what do you see? You see the destruction of our people, right? You see what happened to God's chosen, this is God's chosen people right here, right? So this is why we come out here in the last days, right? Not to come out here and show this, right, to, to, to try to attack people with it, but this is for truth's sake, right? You got to come back out here more. But hold on, Elder. Let me give you this right here real quick. Because this is what your pastor failed to realize with you. Read. This is the book of John, chapter 8, verse 32. Bring it up. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. So your pastor didn't want you to be free, right? That's why he wanted to keep you indoctrinated with lies, right? So he can keep you in captivity in your mind, right? Read. Come. Hold on, brother. Hold on. Listen, listen to the word. They answered him, we be Abraham's seed. And were never in bondage to any man. Uh -huh. How seest thou? Ye shall be made free. We should be what? Made hey, free. Hey, we talking about Abraham's seed of the promise that come from Isaac, right? Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob is the seed of the promise, right? Read what you got. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 15. Uh -huh. But it shall come to pass, uh -huh. if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe, to do all his commandments. Hey, see, you were supposed to do all God's commandments, brother. But can I ask you a personal question? Do you have somewhere to sleep tonight? You don't, right? All right, so why why, why are our people in these conditions, Elder? Mm. Huh? Why are we the ones suffering like this? We only help one another, right? We can Zephaniah 2 and 1. We? To observe, to do all his commandments uh -huh. in his statutes, which I command thee this day, uh -huh. That all these curses. All these what? All these curses. Hey, Elder, understand this. Being homeless here in America is a curse for you, right? Being without the truth in the last days is a curse to you. Hey, hey family, hey, brother and sister, y'all believe in the Bible? Y'all got time for the, for the Lord in the last days? All right, hold on, brother. Hold on, Elder. Hold on real quick, right? Hey, this is the snack you need right here, the word of the Lord, right? Read. That all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. And all these curses, Elder, all of these things that you've been going through your whole life are curses that's in the Bible, right? And that's what happened to you, Elder. So now read the 16th verse. Verse 16. Cursed shall thou be in the city. Elder, you cursed in the city right now, Elder. Read. And cursed shall thou be in the field. Hey, Elder, we all was cursed out here in the cities, in the fields, during slavery time. Look at that right there. Was we cursed in the tobacco fields? Was we cursed in the cotton fields? Right? That's our people, right? Did we reap the benefits of slavery, Elder? No, we didn't, right? Go ahead. Curse shall be thy basket in thy store. Hey, curse shall be your basket in your store, Elder. That's why you don't have right now. Because you've been cursed as a people. And the only way you're going to come back is by keeping God's law, statutes, and commandments. Uh, look, go ahead. Verse 18. Curse shall be the fruit of thy body uh -huh. and the fruit of thy land, the increase of thy kind and the flocks of thy sheep. Curse shall thou be when thou comest in, and curse shall thou be when thou goest out. That's right. And that's what you see. Curse when you come into these cities and curse when you go out of these cities. Cursed in everything that you do because you were not hearkening to the voice of the Lord in the last days, right? Our people want to listen to man. We want to listen to the pastor. You said the brother got a pastor's voice, right? Go to verse 32. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Did that happen to us? Was our sons and daughters given to another people in slavery? Hey, sister, come hear the word of the Lord in the last days, sister. Right, right. All right? Come on, sister. You believe in the Bible? Come on, brother. Real quick, come here, sister. Can I ask you a question? That saved the Lord? Hey, in the Bible, right? You believe in Jesus? These your kids right here? 
All of them all pray to the Most High, all right? Um, what does your Jesus look like, sister? Yes. He look like you? All praise to the Most High. Get a sister a beautiful hand for that, right? Because we've been indoctrinated with lies in the last days, right? And our children have been uh, filled up with lies, right? Into that white image of Christ, right? So with you understanding that, sister, what does that mean for you? If Jesus looked like you, who does that say you are? What's y'all's nationality? Yes. African-American. So was Jesus an African-American? He is? Jesus has a nationality in the Bible. Do you know that? Huh? Jesus come from the tribe of Judah, which makes him a Jew. Right. So that's not the same as an African-American sister. You see this right here? That's why we're teaching. You see that right there? What does it say about the tribe of Judah? So-called blacks, right? So that would be our people, right? So we come out here in, with the truth in the last days to tell our people that you're God's chosen people and you went into captivity for breaking God's law, statutes, and commandments, right? We come out here to tell you that Christ looked like you, right? right. We're out here as the image of Christ in the last days doing That's what right. the disciples of old did, right? So now you got to understand that with you knowing that Christ looked like you, hey, y'all sisters, please, y'all believe in the Bible? Hey, you got time to listen real quick? Because this is for y'all in the last days, right? Do you understand that our people went into slavery and captivity for breaking God's law, statutes, and commandments, right? Why are we on the bottom of society? Do y'all know? Are we, are we the same as all people? Do y'all know that? Are we the same as all people? We're not? Do y'all want to be equal with the so-called Europeans? Do you think we're equal with the so-called Europeans? Or how does God feel about his chosen people? Let me get Deuteronomy 7 and 6 for the people, all right? Real quick, sister, listen at this, all right? Let me get Deuteronomy 1 and 1. Let's establish who we're talking to right here, okay? Because God is calling his people back. Hold on, sister. And it's the greatest information you can hear in the last days, right? right, right. Because death and destruction is coming to this place. Do you understand right. that? Do y'all know we're living in the last days, sister? So give the, give the Bible, give God... 10 more minutes of your time to learn, right? Real quick, sister. Read. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 1, verse 1. Yo. People love to scoot away. You, you, hey, hey, but listen, understand this, sisters, right? Y'all are Israelites, right? Right. And you got to come back and serve the Lord in the last days That's before right. the missiles hit this place. Read right. it. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 1, verse 1. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. Hey, the Lord was speaking to all Israel, right? But our people don't want to hearken unto the voice of the Lord, man. We don't got time for God in the last days. We got time to continue to go out here and party. We got time for Marbles Museum. We got time for cookouts, birthday parties, Christmas celebrations, right? But we don't got 10 minutes for the voice of the Lord in the last days. And that's why we're going to be destroyed, man. We that's right. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. To who? Unto all, all Israel. Israel. We come out here to speak to all Israel in the last days, man. Hey, my brother, you got a nice joint in your mouth, right? You got time for the Lord? Always. Hey, so come here real quick. Build with me there real quick, brother. In the spirit. You already? Hey, you're getting high right now. How about we teach you about the most high, man? Right, right. Huh? How about you come back to service the most high in the last days, brother? Right? All you're doing is going for death and destruction, my brother. Right? Your redemption is nigh, man. Let me get Romans 13 and 11, man. Right? Because our people don't know what time it is, man. Our people are walking by new day, and they are blind in darkness, man. Right? They don't know what's going on. Read what you got. This is the book of Romans, chapter 13 and verse 11. Bring it out. In that new in the time. In that what? In that, that new in the time. time. Our people don't know what time it is, man. Right. And my uncle used to sit me down. He said, I had a nice watch on one day, man. He said, hey, yeah, that's a nice watch. But he said, what time is it? And I said, uh, about 730, huh? He said, nah. He said, what time is it? Right? Why don't our people know what time it really right, is, man? Right. right? Because time really don't exist. They manipulated the time, right? right? So what time is it really? It's time for the nation of Israel to get right, right? right. It's time for you to realize that judgment is nigh, right? It's time for you to realize that your salvation is on the way. That's right. right? We, that knowing the time, that it is high time to awake out of sleep. Nah, our people don't want to awake out of sleep. You remember the movie School Days? 
right? Why did Laura Fishball go out there, right? After the after all the parties and all that other stuff that was going on, right? He told the people to wake up, man. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, Jacob. But Jacob want to stay asleep, man. Right. We that now it is high time to wake out of sleep. Uh -huh. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. Our salvation is nearer than when we, when we believe, right? right? The more and more we see our brothers on the highways and the byways, the Lord is speeding up the time, man. That's right. Right? As more, the, the faster we put, and you know what? Since we love doing challenges, right? I got a challenge. I got a challenge for the Christians that go to church every Sunday. I got a challenge for the Israelites that fell out of the truth, right? How about... You come back, serve the Lord your power, right, as a nation. Come back together, keep God's law, statutes, and commandments together, and watch how these prophecies move, right? How about y'all come out to churches, man, for a time and keep the Sabbath day holy, right? How about you put down the pork, shrimp, crab, and lobster at the end of the service, man, and come back and service the Lord, man? Because y'all have not been taught how to service the Lord. That's the real challenge in the last days, man, is to keep God's law, statutes, and commandments, man. Read verse 12. The night is far spent. The night is far spent. Our people love to come out here and, and, and just waste away at the nighttime, man. Right. Party it up, live it up like they ain't got no more days, man. Right. Right? They want to live it all up in one day, right? That's why the Lord got to destroy this place in one hour. Read. Right. The day is at hand. Uh -huh. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness. And let us put on the armor of light. And let us do what? Put on the, the armor, armor of light. light. And the armor of light is God's law, statutes, and commandments, That's man. Right. But our people don't want that armor of light, man. Our people want to walk in darkness, right? Our people still want to hold hand in hand with their oppressor in the last days, man. Right? But you're going to be destroyed with them on that day. That's right. right? You got that? 30 and 20. That's what's it? 20 and 30. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. 20 and 30. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 30. Hey, y'all believe in the Bible? Y'all believe in the Bible? Can I ask you a question? Can you come tell me about the Lord Jesus Christ and what he looked like? Okay. All right. Well, the Lord Jesus Christ, he's coming to punish this earth, okay? Right. Hey, shut him up. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 30, verse 20. And though the Lord give ye the bread of adversity and the water of affliction, ye shall not te thy teach be removed into it. Read it, read it again. Ye shall not thy teach be removed into a corner. Anymore. Read it. Start from the beginning. And though the Lord gave you the bread of adversity and the water of affliction, ye shall not, thy teachers, be removed into a corner anymore. Right. That's why you got so many men in the last days on every corner, right, in every state in America right now, bringing forth this truth, right? You got armies walking around here, you understand, and people are still blind to what's going on. Right? Our people don't know. They just think when we leave the house, right, and we go out amongst our people, they think it's just us doing this work. Right. Right? They don't see what's going on in the world, man. They don't. They don't see the righteous army that's been rising up for decades right now, man. Right? Our people are still asleep. But and you know what? On that day when the missiles hit, when the Lord's army really rise up and we walking through the fire, that's when you're going to really realize, man, you messed up. That's right. Right? You're going to really realize, man, when you see brothers walking through fire. Right? That you had a chance to come back to your salvation, man. Right. Right? Yet shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner anymore. We're not going nowhere. We're going to keep coming out here week in and week out to prophesy the downfall of this place in the last days. Right? Read. But thy eyes shall see the teachers. Your eyes are seeing your teachers now, man. Your teachers are going out here professing the truth in the last days. Read. Right? And thy ears shall hear a word behind these sayings. And, and, and many of these people out here, y'all hear the word, right? But y'all walking by the word, right? Y'all right. going in these clubs and these parties. Y'all don't want to come over here to listen to the word, right? But you hear the word behind you, right? Read. This is the way. This is what? This, this is, is the way. way. 
way. And we're telling you to come back. This is the way to serve the Lord. Keeping his law, statutes, and commandments in the last days, right? We walk ye in it. Do what? Walk ye in it. Hey, brother and sister, you got to walk in the commandments of the Lord in the last days, right? right. And y'all are Israelites, and you got to keep the commandments of God. Y'all believe right. in the Bible? Coming over, brother, you Hey, get a brother a pamphlet, man. Hey, you're an Israelite, brother. You and your wife right there. You got to come back and serve us the Lord in the last days, brother. That's right. You got to get the information, brother. All praises, man. Hey, look at the information. All right. All praise to the most high. Read. This is the way. Walk ye in it. The Lord wants y'all to walk in it. So when you look up the information, right, it's many brothers teaching this truth in the last days, right? So when you look it up, now the Lord wants you to walk in it and do the things that we're doing, right? right. Read. This is the way. Walk ye in it. When ye turn to the right hand and when ye turn to the left, ye shall defile also the covering of thy graven images of silver and the ornaments of thy molding images of gold. Hey, you want to know what's going on over here, Esau? We teaching the truth of the Bible in the last days, man. And you you, you, and, and your wife, man, y'all not going to be out here walking freely much longer, man. Death and destruction is coming to this place, right? If you like it, love it or not. Right? Read what you got. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 20 and verse 8. Bring it out. For since I speak. 28 verse 8. Shocking. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 28 and verse 8. And read. The prophets that have been before me. The who? The, the prophets, prophets that, that have been, been before me. The whole time we out here going into the days of old, right? The prophets that have been before us doing this work, right? We and before thee huh? alone prophesied both against many countries huh? and against great kingdoms. And that's what we doing. We coming out here prophesying against many countries and all of these great kingdoms, right? right. Saying that we have the greatest kingdom, thus saith the Lord, right? We yeah. of war. And of evil and of pestilence. And of what? And, and of pestilence. pestilence. And of evil and of pestilence, right? So when we come out here and talk to these people and tell them that evil is coming and knocking on your doorstep in the last days, man. That's right. right? You got to understand it's not hate speech, it's truth speech, right? That's right? Because this come out of the word of the Lord if you believe in it, right? But you're going to find out many of our people, they really don't believe in the words of the Lord, right? They just want to listen to the pastor in the church, right? right? Tell me sweet words, pastor, right? Make me feel good with the words of Christ when they don't understand the words of Christ, right? Christ is coming back, and he wants his blood, his sword dipped in blood, That's right. right? How are you going to get away with that, right? Read. Verse 9, the prophet which prophesied the peace when the word of the prophet shall come to pass, then shall the prophet be known. This shall what? Then shall the prophet, prophet be known. Yeah, right, because the prophets are going to be known because we're not speaking our own words, right? We're speaking, thus saith the Lord. So anybody that's coming out of their own belly, out of their own heart, right, not knowing the true word of the Lord in the last days, man, and you're going to be destroyed by your words, man. Every idle word man shall speak, you're going to give account for, man. That's why we got to speak the truth in the last days, man, right? And we got to come out here and tell you to separate oh, yeah, yeah. from these nations. Separate from the so-called European, right? Separate from these ideas, right? Read what you got. 34 from the top. Come. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 34, verse 1. Bring it out. Come ye and these nations to hear. Hey, the nations got to come and hear this word in the last days, man, right? We And hugging ye people. And who? Hugging ye people. We want the people to hug him, man. We want the people to feel the spirit we got upon us this day, man. Right? right? We let the earth hear. Man, we want the earth to hear, man. We want y'all to hear on these bikes what's going on in the last days, man. We and all that is therein. The world and all things that come forth of it. He said the world and all things that come forth of it, right? That's not the same world in John 3.16, by the way, right? Do your due diligence and look these scriptures up, right? For the indignation of the Lord is upon all nations. The what? Indignation of the Lord is upon, upon all, all nations. nations. Righteous judgment is coming to all nations. A just balance is coming to these nations. You put us in captivity, you go into captivity. You put your sword upon us, the sword must come upon you. Read. And his fury upon all their armies. Oh, the fury is going to be upon who? All their armies. Hey, brothers and sisters that's in these militaries and these armies that's joint 
is with these nations. You better get out or you're going to be destroyed with your enemies. Read. He have utterly destroyed them. He have did what? Utterly destroyed them. He have delivered them to the slaughter. Their slain also shall be cast out. And their stint shall come up out of their carcasses. And the mountain shall be melted with their blood. And all the hosts of heaven shall be dissolved. And what? All the hosts of heaven be dissolved. What? And the heavens shall be rolled together as a scroll. And all their hosts shall come fall down. And that's right. That's the Lord exposing all of their projects that they got going on, right? The Lord is going to reveal the true earth, right? The true heavens to us, right? When he take away all what they have put up in these in these air, in these skies, right? All of their pollutions, right? All of their chemtrails, right? We, as the leaf falling off from the vine and as a fallen fig from the fig tree. For the sword shall be bathed in heaven. For the sword shall be bathed in heaven, man. What is this talking about? Right? Why do everybody think that the Lord is coming to pass out flowers from heaven? He's just going to drop down flowers for people, bring you hearts and kisses and tell you I love you, right? The Lord ain't dealing with that, man. The Lord wants destruction to all of the people that touch the apple of his eye, right? His blessed servants, right? We, for my sword shall be bathed in heaven. Behold, it shall come down upon Idumia. Upon who? Idumia. Hey, you better learn who's Idumia in the last days, man. While y'all walking hand in hand, you might be Idumia in the last days, man. Right. You better figure it out quick, because we figuring out who we are in the last days. That's right. we... And upon the people of my curse. And upon the people of my curse, right? Because the Lord cursed his people, right? And he said he's going to put the curses on our enemies, right? We... The sword of the Most High is filled with blood. It is made fat with fatness. And with the blood of lambs and goats, uh -huh. with the fat of the kidneys of Israel. You got to understand when you're breaking this down, right, that the Lord had the children of Israel sacrificing, right? But we didn't take all of the portions of these animals, right? Part of these portions was given to the Most High, right? right. So why was we feeding the Most High, right? Right? We was building up, giving the Most High all that right, righteous indignation that he was going to spill blood upon all of these nations for all of the righteous sacrifices that we did in Israel. Uh, right? We? Father, Lord, have a, a sacrifice in Basra. In what? In Basra. Basra. In the chief place of Idumia, right? So you got to learn these places, man, to figure out what judgment is going to befall these nations in the last days. Right. Hey, brother, you believe in the Bible? You ain't got time for the Lord, brother? Come on, brother. Let me ask you a question real quick, brother. Huh? You got love? You got love for the Bible, brother? You got love for your people? Hey, we stop it. We stopping everybody, my brother. Hey, take a call then, my brother. It's love. Hey, take a call real quick. Take. All right, brother. Oh, praise. We love you, brother, okay? We come out here for the spirit of the Lord in the last days, my brother. No beef, no drama, just peace, my brother. Read what you got right here. I'm going to let the next brother come up. Wait. This is the book of St. Matthews, chapter 24 and verse 17. Bring it out. 14. 14. Shocking. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness to all nations. And then shall the end come. And that's the end of my time. I want to give all glory and honor to our heavenly power, whose name is Yahweh, while Yahweh Shai, right? Kwam Yashallah to all other nations of Israel that's going out on the highways and the byways. And hey, you brothers got to come over here and service the Lord in the last days, right? Kwam Yashallah. 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 Kwam Yashallah.